The next cable that we're going to discuss is called a serial cable, also known as a COM cable. Now, when we talk about the serial cable, we use the word serial in other, uh, other respects referring to our electronics, like when we talk about SATA, meaning serial ATA. That serial ATA doesn't have anything to do with this other type of serial cable. Serial is a way that we transmit information. It means that we're essentially transmitting information one bit after another. But when people say a serial cable, they're mostly of the time referring to this particular COM cable. They're not referring to the way that the data moves if they uh, use it in the sense of uh, hand me that serial cable. They're talking about a COM cable. A serial cable also, in addition to being known as a COM cable, may also be referenced as an RS-232. These type of cables were uh, originally cables that we used to connect printers, um, mice, cameras, um, other computers to our computer. We can still use them to connect to things such as manage switches, uh, routers. They come in handy a lot. Uh, they're being some of their uses are being phased out more and more. Like uh, we no longer use them for mice. Obviously, we are transitioning more towards using USB or, or PS2 and then now USB. But the serial cables, the COM cable still does have its place. Now, these COM cables only allow one connection per port. We have a relationship of one device to one port on our motherboard. Our port is going to be a DB9M, and that's going to be one of our standard ports that we have here. Our DB9M, as we can see, has nine slots here and this is actually going to be the end that would be on our cable uh, so this is actually a db9f our serial not only comes in the db9m the db9f it also comes in db25m and db25f so we have db9m and this is going to be the type of cable that you would see or the type of port that would you would see say on your computer or on a laptop that has a serial port it's going to be a port has nine pins, five on the top and four on the bottom. Now again, the DB-9M, the M stands for male, is what we would normally see on our computers uh, now, our more modern computers and plug into. The serial cables also have DB-25M ports, which have 25 pins, and these 25 pin ports are essentially just longer versions of what we'd see here on our DB9. And we'll have all of our pins on our DB25 port. Our serial cables, uh, when we're transmitting information, they use at least three of their wires. A, they use a transmit wire, a receive data wire, and a signal wire. Um, and these three wires are the least amount of wires that will be used in order to transmit information. Now, not every single serial cable uses the exact same type of wire configuration. When I say wire configuration, I mean which cables, which pins they use to transmit certain types of information. Uh, this is because of the vast amount of different uses that serial cables have. Some of them are, have twist cables with twists in them, which means that at a certain point the wires cross over, and these can be used when, say, connecting two computers together to transmit data. Uh, some cables are just single straight through cables where the pin on one end connects the exact same pin on the other end. It really depends on the situation uh, and, it and it really makes it a little bit more of a thought process when we're plugging a cable into a serial port. We can't just plug any cable into the serial port. We need to make sure that it's the cable that we need for that situation. Um, in addition to having different cables for different purposes, serial cables also have different maximum lengths. This is due to the fact that they transmit data at different rates. When, the day, when our data transmits at a slower rate, we can actually have a longer maximum distance for our cable because the slower our data rate is, the uh, less signal degradation there is over a longer distance, so we can have a longer cable. The faster our data rate is, the faster we're trying to have that data go through, the actual shorter our cable is, because the faster the data is, the more chance there is of signal degradation. So we just want to make sure that when we're using serial cables, we're using the right cable for the job, we're making sure that we have the right type of ends, our 9M or our, our DB9 or DB25, so that we're Using, uh, so we're able to complete our job and we're able to use those cables for the right purpose.